how to download videos from WAP. So I have a demo course here just because I'm not enrolled in any courses on WAP. And today we're going to use YTDLP and I'm gonna show you how to download videos from WAP. So WAP serves these things uh, called MUX streams. It serves its videos using MUX over HLS streaming. HLS is um, HTTP live streaming. And you'll see this M3U8 type of file, okay? so. I have the steps here and we're just gonna rock through them. If you don't already have YTDLP, just go ahead and download that. I'm not gonna cover it in this video. So let's say you have your WAP course pulled up. Step one, you wanna open the video on WAP and go to the network tab. You can do that by right clicking inspect and clicking on the tab that says network. Now, what you'll see here is you're gonna click play on the video and a whole bunch of stuff is gonna come into the network tab. You might even have to click refresh, all right? And what you want to do is make sure that you have the network tab open, you have this preserve log thing going, you've clicked refresh, and you have your video in here. And what you're going to do is click on the filter, M3U8. And now we are seeing these MUX streams here. And these MUX streams here, and they are M3U8 file types. So what we're going to do is filter by M3U8 like we did here, and we're gonna copy the one that says stream.mux and has the token in it, the M3U8 token. I guess you could just go ahead and search by that too. Boom, that's probably even easier. M3U8 question mark token. This is the one that we want. So we are going to copy this request URL there, and we are just going to save it somewhere. So in my case, I'm just gonna save it right here. Okay. Then we want this command and we're gonna put that URL that we just saved. We're gonna replace this little thing in that command with it, okay? So let's say we have this command here ready. We have saved our stream.mux thingy. And we'll just go here and paste that in like that. Boom. This right here is gonna be what the file is named, okay? So now we are ready. We're just gonna copy this command. We're gonna open up a terminal I'm just going to go to my desktop so you can see where it goes. And I'm just going to paste it in, not that. I'm just going to copy this, paste it in, and press enter. And you will see that YTDLP is going to do the rest of the heavy lifting. And now if I go over here to my desktop, here is the video file. With sound and everything, and it's named video.mp4 because that is what we named it. If we wanted it to be named something else, you can just simply rename that. And it's that simple. So once again, you're just going to go to the WAP page, open up, right click and inspect, open up the network tab, make sure you have this preserve log thing going. I like to refresh the page and play the video and then you're gonna search for this. You're gonna copy this stream. You're gonna drop it into the URL part of this command and using YTDLP, you are going to paste it into your terminal and press enter. And wherever it is that you are, I'm here on the desktop, that is where the video will be saved. 